What's up YouTube Fragrance family, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Hope this video finds you doing awesome. It's always exciting getting a package in the mail. You get that slight anticipatory adrenaline rush so you know a new fragrance is coming in. So when I opened the door today and found this waiting for me, I was a little bit concerned about my new fragrance. Now this package did come from across the pond and uh, it's been through quite a lot. Thankfully it was packaged really well and the fragrance that was in it is just fine. In fact, when we come back, we're gonna take a closer look at that fragrance, which is Azaro's newest release, Azaro Pour Homme Cologne Intense. Plus I've got a great giveaway I wanna tell you about for when we get to 9,000 subs. So we've got that coming up and more, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're talking about Azaro's newest release, Azaro Pour Homme Cologne Intense. There have actually been a decent amount of Azaro Pour Homme flankers, but what about their latest edition, the Azaro Pour Homme Cologne Intense? Now this is an eau de toilette concentration, but before we talk about that note breakdown, let's take a closer look at the presentation. You've got green lettering that says Azaro Pour Homme. You've got the silver A for Azaro. Cologne Intense is in green. Then in silver, Azaro. And then you've got 100 ml bottle. On the very back of the box is a stylized graphic. You've got your UPC code, distribution and ingredients information on this side. On the very bottom of the box, there isn't anything. You've got Azaro Pour Homme here, Cologne Intense here. You've got the Azaro that is actually embossed into the glass. Azaro is using the same Azaro Pour Homme body style that they always have. It's just a typical bottle. What I like about this one, it's got a very light citrusy summer look and design with the gradient from a really cool green into a more yellowish green, which is kind of like a citrus summer look. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of the CK1 Summer Edition, the 2021 edition that gradient from blue to green, although this is more of green to green. Basic lid, same thing as the others. When you take this off, you've got your black atomizer with white aperture and your black pump, which is typical. What about the juice though? Let's talk a little bit about the note breakdown of Azaro Pour Homme Cologne Intense. Azaro Pour Homme Cologne Intense for men, featuring top note of lime with a heart note of lavender, resting on a base of mastic or lentisk. That seems to be the thing right now. The hot new trend in fragrance design is to publish fewer notes. Three notes, one fragrance. Let's see what kind of fragrance that it turns out to be. Let's prime the pump. It sprays a ton of juice. It sprays it really far too, so. It's very fresh, it's very limey. Um, I would swear that this has a little bit of ginger in it as a carrier in the top or in the heart. I find it hard to believe that that's just lavender and lime. If it is, great, but it feels like there's something that's giving it a little bit of... After all, this is an aromatic citrus fragrance, so there's got to be something that gives it volume. You know, that gives it volume, that gives it a little bit of punch, a little weight. The lime and the lavender seem to be on par with one another in terms of strength. Um, I would think that the lime would be super powerful and super strong and super citrusy, but it's not really. It's smooth, it's a smooth lime, but it's not a super fruity, juicy lime, say in something like, um, I think this has, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, this particular fragrance has finger lime in it, the Eau Fraiche from Lacoste. It's a much brighter, more fruity and youthful kind of vibe 
than is the line that's in this. Um, which makes sense because Lazaro Por Homme is a very mature fragrance. Um, I wouldn't call this necessarily mature. It's definitely not as youthful oriented as this guy right here and some other lime oriented fragrances that I've smelled. So I kind of like that about it. I kind of like that, that about it, that it's riding that fine line. But is it a intense? Now, when people see the word cologne these days, they make the assumption that it's an eau de cologne. That is not the case with this. Is it a true intense? I think it can come across that way when you first spray it out of the bottle. But it's now, the, now that it's drying down on my tester strip, it's not really an intense fragrance. I think if they would have just called it a Zara Pour Homme cologne, that would set a better expectation of what you're going to get. But it's not really an intense. But I do want to spray it on skin so I can give you a better idea of what happens with that Lintus Germastic resin, the lime, and the lavender. I do feel like this is going to be one of those heat activated fragrances where you can maximize the longevity and the lifetime and the projection of the fragrance by wearing it in high heat. And I think that's probably what it was designed for. It's not necessarily a beach fragrance at all. I wouldn't call it tropical, not even close. What's interesting about this, even though the predominant color is green, it's more lavender mastic oriented once that lime wears off. There's just a hint of lime in this after the initial opening dries away. This one has a really quick scent triangle, really quick. So the lime burns off. What you're left with is a really nice smooth lavender and mastic. It's got a, a nice projection to it. But to me, what I'm getting is a nice summertime office scent. Some people have compared this to Parfum de Marly's Percival. I don't get that personally. Percival is a much more sharper and refined fragrance smell. While I wouldn't say that this is a t-shirt and jeans fragrance, it's definitely a casual fragrance. Primarily, once that lime dies away, you're left with a smooth, resinous, lavender fragrance. You've got that nice mastic resin in there. Some resins are darker, are earthier, with a little bit of smoke in the background. This particular resin reminds me of a darker cardamom. In other words, it's got more of like a light, nutty pistachio nut. And that fresh, smooth lavender, along with that lightly resinous, lightly nutty mastic, resin in the background is a nice combination. It's a really nice masculine manly combination that pretty much goes with anything. So if you're looking for versatility, this definitely has the same style and versatility as any of the Zaro Porom line. If I were to categorize who's going to be wearing this, I would say late 20s on up because it is slightly mature. I think had the lime lasted a bit longer, it might be a little bit more on the youthful side. Sample it, see what you think. I actually like it. I like it a lot. I don't think it's anything to get super excited about. I don't think it's anything to run out immediately and get at full retail. The good news for you guys is that when it does come stateside and we get a ton of it, the price is going to be reduced. Then it's going to be a banger of a fragrance in terms of that, you know, cheaper genre of designer fragrances. All right, guys, you know, it's that time again when we're getting closer to another thousand. We're getting really close to 9,000 subs. Uh, I think we have several hundred to go before we get there. So I'm gonna ask you to help me out by doing something that you already maybe forgot to do, but wanted to do or intended to do. The next time you watch my video or, or right now, take a moment to do it. Make sure that you've subbed to me. It's really easy to forget. Make sure that you're subbed. And really that's all I'm asking for this giveaway. For the 9,000K giveaway, I'm gonna show you this really quick clip of all the samples that I've got. They're all newer samples and a bunch of little miniature fragrances from all kinds of designers and if you want to win that box full of them for the 9k giveaway make sure that you comment on this particular video so it's just four things tell your friends I'm doing this in a different order tell your friends make sure that you're subbed make sure that you hit the bell icon and comment Super simple stuff, stuff that you would hopefully normally do anyway, but I want to give a particular attention on it because the sooner we get 9K, the sooner I can choose a winner and announce it and then send your big box of samples and miniatures on the way. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video, unboxing and first impressions. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.